Hey Pisces! What's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we are finally doing a love reading. So yeah, I don't tend to focus too much on love, but truth be told, a lot of people go for tarot readings because of it. So I want to provide that for you guys too. Um, I'm posting so many readings and I know that the generals often apply for love, but still. Okay, so let's see. However, these are messages that will both will apply both for coupled and single Pisces. Okay, so take what applies for you and leave the rest. The messages are going to be mixed. All right, universe, energy of love and light. Please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love, especially romantic love. Bringing messages for those who need it, if they're single couple or if they are in any kind of dating or situationship. All right. Love and romance for Pisces. By the way, happy Pride Month. So the first card and only card that is coming up is the Page of Cups. Some of you may be in a very uh, beginning phase in a relationship. Now I see this rabbit and this rabbit seems to be either removing a red cord out of someone's, someone who has been like tied up with it, or putting it on. So this leads me to believe that someone here, could be you, is saying, well, I thought, you know, I was connected to this person with this red cord of, you know, kind of like twin flame soulmate, one of a kind energy. And it seems like you're taking it back almost, or someone is taking it back and removing that thread, that red thread, or someone is putting it on regardless you know, this is showing something that was forced or is being forced. Something possibly with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And this may have happened out of naivete, emotional innocence. I feel like there is something real that is coming through. Something real and physical and successful that is making you perhaps create contrast and say, oh, well, that other thing wasn't real. This is real. So I feel like there is an adjustment in perspective here that is either triggered or benefits from something that's new, emotions that are new. Maybe a more balanced connection is coming in here, Pisces. There could have been a lot of anxiety in this area of your life, Pisces. Maybe in general, in your lifetime, this area has been heavy or has been difficult. Maybe there's been a lot of preoccupation, preoccupation, is that a word? Worry? Preocupación? In this area, some of you are letting go of someone, definitely, for something tangible, something that is in front of you. So let's say that... I'm getting so many different scenarios, so I'm just gonna throw them all out there and see if, you know, whatever resonates with you, take it. Definitely, there's gonna be a lot of different uh, types of situations. So first situation I see, I see a man married to a woman having an affair. The mistress, he felt, was the love of his life and, you know, the end all be all. Then the wife gets married, uh, gets pregnant, and the man leaves that uh, affair that he thought was everything with that person who was 
according to them, their person. And abandoning that for something real, meaning the birth of a child in front of them in their current relationship. That's one scenario that I see here. Another scenario that I see here is um, someone putting someone else on a pedestal, some kind of like twin flame uh, energy here saying or thinking that that is the person, and then coming into a new relationship and finding something real and tangible and beautiful and saying, you know what, I'm going to take that back. Some of you are having a lot of worries because something is starting and that may trigger a lot of fear. I feel like there's a lot of Pisces that have said, you know, I'm not interested in love. I don't really want to try. I don't really want to go into that. But then somehow you are fi finding yourself within a potential uh, beginning of a relationship. And I feel like there's a lot of fears being triggered. You may be in that phase in which you're like, oh, do they really want something with me? Am I reading things right? Um, are they going to write back to me? Is this a date? <laughs> is this not? You know, are they interested in long term? Are they getting a divorce for real? You know, it's like a lot of thoughts like that that can bring anxiety. And for some of you, it could take your sleep, affect your sleep. I also see a very beautiful brunette woman. Um who has, in the past, passed away, leaving someone a widow. Do you say widow for women and men? Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. <laughs> Never really wondered about that. But yeah, that could be the case. And there could be new feelings sprouting for someone. And it could be weird. You know, falling in love again after losing someone that you love could be very strange. It can feel all sorts of awkward and guilty and shameful and strange and exciting and just a mess of emotions. So if that's you, you, you can trust that that person wants you to be happy. That's the message that is coming in. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Virgo. I'm hearing you have been alone for long enough. The grieving is complete. So for those of you who, you know, you may have had a divorce, you may have had a separation, you may have had the passing of your uh, romantic partner. What I'm hearing here is you have been alone for long enough. The process and everything you can take out of processing that situation alone, you have taken out of it, if that makes sense. It's like you've really milked it somehow. You've really taken everything you can, every lesson, every... I don't know. It's like you've really taken everything valuable out of being alone. And now Spirit is saying, you know, there's a lot more that you can benefit from if you were to open up to new love. But I do get this feeling of someone who's a widow, widow or widower, or I don't know how you're supposed to say it, being very emotionally confused about it. There is someone here listening that lost a romantic partner. They, they passed away. And this person has been entering different relationships, saying that they're open to love, saying that they want to fall in love again. But in a way, I feel like they have been drawn by their subconscious to people who they can't really fully love because in one, in some level of them, they don't want their person that passed away to be eclipsed. They don't want to love anybody more. So they are kind of like sabotaging themselves, falling into relationships that couldn't possibly bring that kind of love. Interesting. Interesting. Is this you? Comment below. Others of you have been waiting. 
waiting, 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 waiting for that right person to arrive. You have been on your own. You've been focusing on your spirituality, on your inner exploration. You have been building yourself up. You have been working on yourself. And there are some results, but you still feel like there's something missing. Some of you. Take it if it resonates. I'm hearing that you're going to meet someone in a different country. A cold country. Is there a cold area of India? I'm kind of getting reference to that. Nepal? Is that India? Sorry, part of my ignorance. I, I honestly don't know. But they show me India and they show me snow. And I honestly don't know enough about India to know if there is snow in India. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that message is strong for someone here. I'm getting try when you manifest and when you try to manifest or when you put the order to the universe to the cosmic Amazon <laughs> Amazon store um, go first with the internal qualities before specifying any physical desires feel free to take your time and to pause as you evaluate options some of you are being uh, very charming, very magnetic at this time, and there may be a lot of people interested in you. Some of you have a menu of people to choose from. That sounds very weird, but you know, you know what I mean. And they're telling you here, take your time. You don't need to rush. There is... Like, no one worthy is going to just not wait for you to make a decision. You know what I mean? Like, take your time. If it's meant for you, that person will wait, gladly. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus, strongly Virgo. Hey, there's someone here. Ooh, Pisces. There is a Pisces here that everybody wants to date. You got people fighting for you, Pisces. Hey, that's cool. And what you're looking for is something stable, something fair. Some of you are done falling for the charming, sexy, toxic person. And you're like, you know what? I want my oatmeal love. I want... The real, soft, gentle, tender, patient love that you can grow into your elder years. Grow all together. There is someone who's always been around. And this person is kind of like a fly. It's like they're always around. Sometimes they're annoying. Sometimes you don't feel them. But they're always around. This person is head over heels in love with you. Could be someone with white hair or grayish hair or like super blonde, like platinum blonde. And this person is always around, maybe even from childhood. This person loves you so much. If this message resonates with you, this person adores you. They feel unworthy of you and they feel like they shouldn't even fight with other people who want you because you're too sacred to them, for them to have you, or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's this whole, wow, this whole thing. I'm getting a lot of reference to cold, cold countries. Pine tree forest, snow peaks. One last card for Pisces. Another romance. Comment below, I want to hear the tea, please. Oh, I guess I want to read the tea. Yeah, you're gonna get clarity. There is someone who's around who is perfect for you. And you're not aware of it, 
but you will be. And that is gonna be the beginning of something beautiful. Platinum blonde, that's what I'm hearing. I love you so much, Pisces. I love you so much. Best of luck with everything. And yeah, comment below, I wanna hear about it, okay? Bye.